Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, welcome to small things. Uh, I'm gonna make some zipper pulls. Just you know, simple little cute stuff. Starring UV resin. Uh, so I have my teardrop mold here. Uh, teardrop pendants and <clears throat> excuse me. Over here I have some little polymer clay uh, Christmas blend. It's just got like little cookies in it and uh, green and red and white sprinkly looking things. So we're going to use some of that. And then over here you can see that I have a piece of my iridescent film that we're going to be using in another one. And we're going to make two. So I'm just going to put down a little bit of my UV resin in here. Of course, not covering the whole, or not filling it up all the way because I want layers. Let me give that a second to do its thing. I do see a couple of tiny little bubbles, so tiny torch to the rescue on the tiny little bubbles. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a quick zap just for a few seconds just to start it getting going, but not anywhere close to curing because I just want it tacky. I'm going to get some of my little doodahs out here. Put them on the board. Tweet, tweet. And just lay these little guys down and since the UV resin is still a little bit sticky the little clay pieces will stick in there and hopefully not move around too much and with this guy I'm just going to lay it down in there And this one, I'm going to put another thin layer. And some more sprinkles and cookies. Make sure that this guy is getting stuck down real well. Alright, then I'm going to go ahead and cure this for a few 90 seconds. So see you then. Okay, so now that that's done, about halfway through I flipped it over and cured it from the back as well, just to make sure. And now, for our next trick, I'm going to be grabbing my black UV resin. And we all know that shiny stuff looks great with black backgrounds. Get 
that up over the little post and it recovers the post up. It's fine. I didn't fill it up enough. It'll just recover or uh, re-uncover itself, which is nice. And then for the cookies, let's do something festive. Let's do caramel. Maybe those. And this is one that I made. And I just used uh, my Ranger Caramel Alcohol Ink in clear UV resin and mixed it up. I do have a couple of videos on how to make your own colored UV resin in my Resin Projects playlist if you want to uh, check that out. Let's make sure that that gets around the little post. And that looks good. I do see a couple of little teeny tiny bubbles, so just a quick torch. All right, so I'm going to cure these for another 90 seconds. See you then. All right, so now that those are all cooked, let's get them out. That is. <laughs> no, there it doesn't, buddy. Look at him. Isn't he pretty? All right, so now I have several different things sitting over here to make our zipper pulls. So these all came from the set of jewelry findings that I got from DD Craft a while back. So what I'm going to do first is, and of course a couple of little tools here just to help me because my hands aren't working right today. All right. I'm just going to open that to the side and then put it through. And if you open it to the side, it's a lot easier to get back into shape rather than pulling it out. Let's get that put back together. All right, now these little guys our little T90 jump rings, and that right there is the reason why I always get several more than I need out when I'm using them because they are so tiny that I tend to lose them. So I'm just going to take my little tools, bring it out, put on my lobster claw. Put both of them on the big jump ring. Close up the tiny jump ring. And there you have it. Just a cute little tiny zipper pull. So let's do the other one. needed to get them clasped and couldn't find the right spot. So there we go. Tiny little holiday zipper pulls. So, let me know what you guys think. <sighs> I hope you like them. Just a cute little holiday project that you can make. Cute little stocking stuffers. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like it, great. Leave a like. If you don't and you want to leave a dislike, fantastic. But please let me know in the comments why, um, if I can do something better, or if you're just, you know, it's not a bad day. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you on the next one. Take care. Cheers.